<sighs> I've tried to be as nice as I can be, but some of them are Hi, so determined in their hatred that I'm going to have to resort to more drastic measures. Miss Lancaster. Hello. Ah, ready for a fresh look? Good. I'm going to ask you one more time. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? It's my turn, eh? Well, you won't be getting me to go along with your ridiculous plan. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. And you're fucking stupid if you believe that bullshit. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. <sighs> You'll regret this. I've spent years collecting all this fabulous merchandise. I won't stand for this. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I don't care. If you have to choose between not being a bigot and leaving, and you choose to leave, then get your stuff together and get the fuck out of here. You'll pay for this. Dearly. I highly doubt so it. Long. Why, thank you, What dear. are you doing? How charming of you to say so. Hello? Perhaps you and I should start spending Hello? some time together, Hi. eh? <laughs> mm. Nice work, Susan. Hello? Hello, Lydia. I see my boutique has proved to be an irresistible lure. Welcome back. One more time. How would you feel about having a few cool neighbors? Ah, yes. I was wondering when you'd try me. You may be able to coerce the others, but I'm not such a pushover. Your zombie buddies will need to find someplace else to live. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your disgusting buddies have to push honest, hardworking, important people around like that? Where do you propose I live? Oh, go live where all the other important bigots live. In the ground. I don't care where you go. Get your stuff together and get the fuck out of here. Just you wait. I'll find a way to repay you for this. I'll invoice you, bitch. <sighs> Fucking bigots. Hello. They're the ones that should be living in a metro tunnel. Now to deal with the Wellingtons. I think I have an idea. Hey, Millicent, I have something you might want to see. Yes? You wish to speak to me? Whatever for. All right, one more try. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Dear Lord, are you serious? Ghouls living here? With us? That's simply out of the question. I've met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. Ha! I think I know a fair share more than some vagrant blown in off the waists. You are simply mistaken. They may appear nice, but deep down, they want to kill. It's common knowledge among the educated. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. No, you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. But whatever. You're giving me a headache. Isn't there someone else you can pester with your inane ideas? I found this love letter. Maybe you'll realize that you don't know everything in the universe. Oh my god. This can't be real. But it's in his handwriting. Oh my god. He's dead. I'll kill him. And her. They're both dead. This isn't happening. This isn't real. Wait, what? You broke your sacred promise. W what are you talking about, dear? Is, is everything all right? Let me remind you. Till death do us part. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Oh, oh fuck! Okay, well, at least I stopped her from killing Susan. Honestly, I'm not gonna cry over... Edgar's death. He's just as much as bigot as she is. Hello? 
At least that's two people I don't want to convince anymore. Let's just, uh, hide this in here. Hello? Well, at least I got a cute outfit out of it. She changed out of this and left it in her inventory, so I might as well take it. Looks nice. Uh, I'll wear it after I leave, though. They might recognize it. I guess all that leaves is Susan. There must be somewhere safe out there. You procrastinating leaving? Hey, Susan. Make it quick, Missy. I'll give you one more chance. How would you feel about having a few cool neighbors? I know all about your plan to get your ghoul pals in here, and I'm putting a stop to it. You can't just go around pushing us around like that. I've dealt with people like you before. People who think they know what's good for everybody else. I know what's best for me, and that's no ghouls. So you can run along and tell your ghouls they'll just have to find somewhere else to squat. Or better yet, to go off and die somewhere. Bitch, I saved your fucking life. Millicent was going to kill you for sleeping with her husband. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. I'm done with the wasteland. And I've been everywhere else. There isn't anything better than this. Damn you and your ghouls. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Bye. I'm not going anywhere. I'll talk to Tenpenny. I bet I can live in Burke's place. He's never around anyway. And when he does come back, I'll make sure he's fine with the new arrangement. I'll just send up for my food. I'll never even have to look at you or your ghoul buddies. Uh-huh, whatever. If you're happy with that arrangement. At least I didn't have to kill her, but seriously, what a bitch. Anthony and Lydia are gonna Hello. die out there because they refuse to give up their bigotry. At least Susan has a chance to come to her senses. Hello. Hey, Tempetty. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. The bigots have all been taken care of, so the ghouls can move in now, right? Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them, though the ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm glad this situation has been resolved. It's a bit crass, but here's a little something for your troubles. Ugh, of course you don't care as long as they have caps. Vigilante. People know you're good at heart, even though you've taken matters into your own hands. Well, I better tell Roy that they can move in now. Can I help you? This area is somewhat protected from the elements, and the poster may be seen by a woman who would be interested in working at lollipops. All right, well, I got to po post her up out here. Hello, dear.
Hey, Roy. Oh, everyone's here. That's good. Hello. What's the status on those ten penny bigots? I've taken care of things. You can move in now. I'll be damned. Really? Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the ferals and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our feral brethren if you meet any. Oh, thanks. I already got one, but I appreciate it. All right, bye. Give him hell. Oh. Oh, hello there. Can't thank you enough. No problem. Be good. Hey, kid. I was wrong about you. Good job. Thank you. Good luck. Alright, that's all dealt with. Come on, Spider, let's go. Dynamite's the best birthday candle. Mm-hmm, come on. Alright, let's go. RL3 is ready for another tour of duty, sir. Let's get going. Yes, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> Lead on. Mm-hmm. I'm embarrassed too, but there's no sense in dragging it out. Let's just get back. <laughs> uh, let's get going for now, Malibu. I can't believe I just left him like that. Thanks for bringing me around. It's okay, Malibu. You had to sort out your feelings. Are you okay? Hey there. Uh, let's go. Okay. Hey, Tanya. Look. Yeah? Let's get going. Amanda. Everything okay? Yep, let's get going. Lead the way. What are you doing? Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hey, kid. I was wrong about you. Good job. So what's it like living here now? It's weird, actually. I used to vacation here before the bombs dropped. Used to be a resort for the wealthy and powerful. I never thought I'd be the one fighting to get in here. Guess way back it used to be a plantation. Ironic, isn't it? Ah, that explains the wealth. It was made by slavery. Hey, am I getting my own suite here now? Do you sell the key to that? Are you taking over the shop? They got you living up there? Well, since we're stuck with you, you might as well take a look at all the items and themes for that place that may interest you. Oh, all right. Uh, could you tell me what the items do? Well, you want to be more specific, or do I have to guess? Uh, tell me about the infirmary. If you went and did something stupid, like busting up a limb or something, this setup will allow you to heal just like being at a wasteland doctor. Nice. The jukebox? This noise box will fill your room with awful human-made music. How can you stand listening to that garbage anyway? You were once human. And do you make your own music? I doubt it. Although, I would be interested in what ghoul music would be like. Uh, what about the laboratory? If you like blowing yourself up by mixing chemicals and trying to make drugs to get you higher than the top of this tower, this add-on's for you. It can also be used to get rid of any addictions you may have from tasting your results. Okay, useful. Nuka-Cola machine? Well, let's see. It's a machine, and it gives you ice-cold Nuka-Colas. What are you, stupid? <laughs> well, and the workbench? Find one of them fancy schematics? Well, you can use this table to build whatever it is in your own place. Okay, cool. That's enough. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about the themes? Themes, huh? What's the matter, too lazy to decorate yourself? The former owner of this business left detailed instructions on how to have themes set up to make your suite look interesting. You can choose from the vault, 
Raider, Wasteland Explorer, Science, Love Machine, or Pre-War Themes. Okay, I'm interested in the Love Machine theme. Because of course I am. Yuck, the thought of walking around naked's making me sick. Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. Uh, you don't want to walk around naked? Well, whatever. If you ever want to come visit. Finally, let's get down to business. Uh, I'm going to have to sell this power armor again. There's no way around it. Hopefully I'll be able to get another set sometime. Uh, Alright, I just barely managed to afford that. It's so expensive living here. Alright, bye. Live it up while it lasts. See you today. Yep. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. Hi, Margaret. Thanks for helping those ghouls. They really aren't so bad. Aw, thanks. So what's it like living here now? Our new neighbors aren't so bad after all. And they have big appetites, so that's good for the cafe. I'm glad. Oh yeah, anyone that says ghouls don't have to eat is a bigot. Bye. Have a good one. Hello? Hello? Hey, Gustavo. Hello. Don't know how you did it. I'd never allow those zombies room and board. But as long as Tenpenny keeps paying me, I'll stay. <laughs> okay, bye. Watch yourself. Hello? At least he's not gonna go out there and get himself killed. I wouldn't mind if something happened to him, though. Hi. Hello. Oh, hey, Hi. Bessie! Oh, hello there. Can't thank you enough. What's it like living here? It's wonderful. Roy was right. This is the way to live. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, let's trade. What do you have? Okay. Well, I appreciate you sp expanded the shop's inventory a little bit. Bye. Be good. Good morning. Are you okay? Hey! You're all my husband talks about now. Do you have any idea how annoying that is? is it, what, is he excited to meet a real comrade? So, what's it like living here now? I guess I don't mind those ghouls as much as I thought I would. That's good. Bye. Take care. Oh, hey, Michael. Hey! You're the one with the ghoul friends. Well, I guess they're our friends now, too. Uh, yeah? What's it like living here now? It's swell. Those new neighbors of ours like to drink almost as much as I do. And boy, do they have some real good stories. Uh, yeah, living for 200 years will do that for you. Bye. Cheers. I'm glad you're enjoying their company. Are you okay? Look, if you can't go right now, I understand, but I'm heading back. Malibu! <laughs> okay, I guess I'll be there later. Hi! Hello, friend. Ghoul physiology is fascinating. Oh, yeah? Well, what's it like having them here? People are happy and healthy for the most part, and those ghouls make great case studies. Did I mention I'm working on an important dissertation? Mm-hmm. Bye. Don't get hurt out there. Oh, hey! I would surely have perished if it wasn't for Roy Phillips and his tower. Oh, well, I'm glad Roy is taking in more goals. Hey, Dashwood. Glad to see you were able to convince these people to open their minds a little. Those ghouls will liven things up around here for a long time. Ugh, ghouls aren't your entertainment, Dashwood. What's it like having them around? 
I'm surprised by my fellow tenants. I used to think they were all closed-minded idiots. Turns out they aren't so bad after all. Greg, you're much better. Bye. Go make a name for yourself. Hello. Hi. Yeah, maybe. Fucking asshole. I hate him so much. Hello. Tenpenny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? I bet Margaret, it's more wonderful now. I might have to prescribe Hello. a vacation Hello. for you. Bye. Nonsense. I'm fine. I enjoy making Hello. food and keeping the residents happy. A vacation from this would only make me anxious. Fine. For now. I've got my eye on you. If you seem to be me? getting exhausted, I'm, I'm prescribing sure that you. vacation. Hmm. Hi. How are you today? Hey! Hey, comrade! Those ghouls seem like a real community, huh? Adversity must have made them strong! Ugh. Um, well, what's it like living with them? Things are going well, I'd say. We've all learned a thing or two about what makes a real community, don't you think, comrade? Yeah, I guess, but, uh, might be better if we didn't have a landlord rolling over us, don't you think? Good travels to you, comrade. Yeah, you too. <sighs> oh, hey, Susan. So you did move in here. Ha! Huh. I'm doing just fine. No thanks to you. So what's it like living up here? Those ghouls are disgusting. So I just spend all my time up here. <sighs> you know Roy is up on this level, right? Anyway, bye. Yeah, goodbye. Eh, I want to support a fellow sex worker, but why does she have to be such a fucking bigot? Hey, Roy, you live in here? At Tempenny's place? Huh. Haha, <laughs> hey there, bud. Thanks again for helping us get in here. Uh, yeah, thanks for the key to the suite. I'll go check it out. So, what's it like living here? Beats the wasteland and thirty tunnels, that's for damn sure. Yep. Hey, uh, are you still angry at the bigots? Ten minions pack of Elias wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. Wait, what? Wait, where's Ten Penny? Yeah, best get on your way. Um, where is he? I thought it was- You should check oh. it out. Hey! I haven't heard anything about Mr. Crowley recently, so what could you possibly want? Oh, so you have nothing to say about the goals. Okay, then. Righto, run along now. <sighs> I think Roy's still planning to go through with his plan. Why would he say that otherwise? I- might have to deal with him. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him. Oh wow, this place is really nice. Oh look, I even got my own little Mr. Handy. I think this switches it on. I hope things are going oh, well. Oh, it's working. Today, Hi. Madam. Good evening, madam. What can I do for you? Nothing, I hope. Oh, uh, I don't know. Tell me a joke. Yeah, the two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal turns to the other and asks, Does this taste funny to you? That is a dark joke, but a good one. <laughs> can you explain what the workbench is for? If you come across any schematics in the wasteland, you'll be able to construct its contents on this specially designed table. Where can I buy more things for this place? Yes, I believe this place could do with a bit more in the way of decoration. Speak with Lydia Montenegro down in the lobby level of the tower. She has quite a selection of items to enhance your living space. 
Oh, so I'd have to talk to Michael again now that he's running that shop. Can you explain how the My First Infirmary works? An innovation from MedTech. The My First Infirmary will automatically diagnose and treat any injury you might sustain. It will also make any of the pesky rads you've accumulated in the wasteland vanish instantly. What about the My First Laboratory? From the keen minds at MedTech, the My First Laboratory will instantly detoxify you, removing any nasty addictions from your body. Knowing what you're addicted to, it might blow out the program altogether. If you're feeling the need to experiment, just set the lab to brew, and a day later it will produce a random, useful compound. Remember that while the lab is brewing, you can't use the detoxify functions. Oh, okay, so it works like the ones in Megaton. Um, how does the Nuka-Cola machine work? The Nuka-Cola machine will dispense ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Once you've dispensed eight of them, the machine will have to be restocked in order to make regular Nuka-Colas ice-cold. Oh, okay. I'll make sure to restock it if I want more than to be cold. Working fridge is nice. Alright, bye! You have yourself a fine day, madam. Oh, the vault suit contrasts brilliantly with your eyes. You stupid git. Alright, everyone, why don't you just wait in this nice suite until I come back, okay? The casino. I think I can get in now. Oh, wow. All right. Check this place out. Wow, this is a huge casino. I'm not here for your entertainment. Oh, there's a cashier. All right. Um, I'll take 20 chips. What should I play? Alright, I guess I'll play roulette. Haven't played that before. Uh, alright, this is my first time playing it, so I'm gonna put it on evens, just to have a good chance. Two! Alright. All right, up or nothing. Uh, I'm gonna put it on red. Aww. All right, um, let me try going for the numbers. I'm gonna go like 19 to 36. Oh, I put it on the wrong one, but I guess that's a good thing. Oh, all right, I won that. All right, I'm going to try to bet everything, but I'm going to go with odds this time. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Ah, <sighs> this is why gambling's a scam. Hi. Hey there, need anything? You got some drinks? Sure. 
Here's what I got. Caps. No whiskey? Damn. I see it right behind you. Ugh, whatever. Bathrooms. What's out here? Oh, this leads to the balcony. Nice. Uh, ten pennies out here again. Well, I guess I'll stay in my suite for a bit and keep an eye on Roy up here. Hello, hello. I, I can't stop to chat just now. Okay. I wasn't asking to chat with you. It's been a few days and Roy hasn't made any moves. Maybe I was wrong about him. Better check around today. See if... <gasps> what? Roy must have killed Tenpenny. Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted to kill the bigot. Oh, no. If he's willing to kill Tenpenny, he's probably going to kill everyone else here, too. Especially with what he said earlier. Hey, kid. <sighs> Shit. Hey there, bud. What happened to Tenpenny? I'm afraid Tenpenny and I had a little disagreement. Not to worry, though. He soon had a little accident. Problem solved. Uh-huh, and is everyone else going to have an accident, too? His pack of Elias wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. He's going to just kill the rest of the humans. Yeah, best get on your way. I was gonna kill the landlord Tenpenny. Crawley wanted me to do it, and when I found out more, I was perfectly fine with doing that. And now Roy's the landlord. So, Roy. that it was me. I'm gonna go see if everyone else is okay here in the tower. I'm sorry, Bessie. I'm sure you can meet someone new. Roy wasn't that great. Susan's still here. Huh? Oh, hey, Gustavo. Must admit, you did good, soldier. I'm glad to have you around. Ah, uh, surprising, but okay. Bye. I still got my eye on you. Ugh, <sighs> with Tenpenny and Roy dead, Gustavo's probably gonna be the next problem, but I'll see how that plays out. <sighs> Dashwood has profited off... The genocide of Rockopolis and the death of Argyle for too long. He literally still makes royalties from his radio dramas. And he's been hiding off here in retirement in this bougie place? No. If he was sorry and actually wanted to make up for his actions and acknowledge what he did, that'd be one thing. But he doesn't even acknowledge it. And he still doing harm by lying to everyone with the radio plays and profiting off of it and just spreading lies about what a hero he is. He's a villain. He 
he's responsible for the genocide of Rockopolis, and he left Argyle to die. I don't trust that he's finished with his schemes yet. If Tempenny and Roy had to die, then so does he. This shady shan shuffle is going to be for you, Argyle. <sighs> Killed so many people here, but it's not like they were exactly innocent. I guess my business is finished here in Tenpenny Tower. I should get my friends and then head up. Oh, wait. I remember those buildings by Warrington Station. I should probably check those out first. And look pretty damn good while doing it. Alright, let's go. Oh, they've got some more guards now. Not On surprised. Duty can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. <sighs> well, if Gustavo becomes a problem, I'll take care of it. <laughs> 